Welcome to this light is way too much. Welcome to Mental Health Monday. The beard is a lot shorter. It was even shorter before. We went for a full face naked over the holidays and that's one of the reasons why you haven't seen me in a while because frankly, it didn't look bad, but it didn't look great and I wanted to have at least. This has kind of been the struggle lately. Every time I do something, I feel extra resistance. Extra resistance with doing Mental Health Monday, with getting back on the clean eating, with getting back into exercise, with any of that, all right? Every fucking time I try and do something positive, moving forward, blah, 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 etc. there's just a wall, there's just resistance, there's just some fucking helicopter buzzing over my head to try and fucking ruin my vibe, ruin my groove. Don't tow off his groove. Ruin my shit. Beware the groove. At least I'm not on that helicopter. Also, as you can see, I'm very shiny right now because the garage is hot and I have to turn the fan off in order to record in here. I need to get a thermometer in here just so I know how hot it is exactly. I don't want to know that. Anyway, I've been on holiday. I only left last week and I went half an hour out of town to house sit for a friend's parents and it was phenomenal and it is exactly what I needed because it felt like an actual holiday because I didn't have my family or anybody else around and it was just me, a book, some music and yeah, it was just, it was good. I'm not gonna do the usual New Year Mental Health Monday about setting goals because currently one of the biggest things I'm struggling with is even looking forward. Getting back on the horse as far as good life choices because frankly, I don't give a hoot. At the moment, it's really hard to look forward and look at the future. The having not done Mental Health Monday for so long has, has made me ask myself the question, is it actually important? Is there any value in it? Because frankly, I haven't posted in three weeks and nothing happened. I haven't been on Instagram at all and nothing happened. Nobody, nobody died, at least to my knowledge. It's, and so you have to ask yourself, is what I'm doing actually worthwhile? Can my time be spent better elsewhere? But you know, I'm back. I don't know if I'm gonna do these every week. I haven't decided. Frankly, it's up to me, especially that the world hasn't exploded and I haven't, you know, nothing bad's happened for me not doing it. Maybe I don't need to put that unnecessary amount of pressure on myself and I can focus on other things. With the holiday season, I decided to take a break from the really clean eating, big mistake. And that's why my skin looks like absolute fucking garbage. All puffy and red with like a few little breakouts here and there. Because I've been eating like shit. People ask, oh, how's your skin so nice, Eamon? It's because I stopped eating like crap. My skin did not used to be nice, as is evidenced by now, because what you put into your body is more important than what you put onto your body. I sort of slowed down on my exercise even bigger mistake. I stopped writing, I stopped doing all of those things that define me to myself. All the great output, the things that I create make me proud of being me, that make me happy and feel that the life that I'm living has productive work that gives value to others because I identify as somebody that creates worthwhile work that makes other people's lives better. As well as somebody that treats himself a little bit harshly in the present, i.e not eating cake or ice cream in favor of living healthily and feeling good most of the time. And unfortunately, part of the slowing down of the holiday process involved making cheesecake. A lot of the vices that I had purged from my life, I let in briefly. And that small amount of time of letting them in has resulted in them getting their hooks back in. And now I have to actively go out of my way to shed them and pull them off very slowly. I really like watching The Simpsons. That's just a thing. I will binge watch just a whole seasons of The Simpsons, which, uh, no, that's bad. You've eaten too much food. You're sitting there going, oh, cheesecake and lamb. That's what was Christmas dinner. And I'm gonna just sit after effectively binge eating, just binge watching because my brain doesn't have any steam to do anything else. Now, I read a very thick book about like that called Shantaram and it's the first time I've read fiction that wasn't Terry Pratchett in friggin years and it was a gr as if to prove myself exactly right guess what the camera card was full and so all of a sudden the camera stopped recording meaning we're back I have to do this again I'm still hot and sweaty <laughs> if you like action movies you would enjoy this book it is overwhelmingly thick 
but beautifully written, very easy to read. It had words that I had to look up. I pride myself on the verbosity of my vocabulary, and even then there were words that I had to go, what the hell does that mean? Before the battery runs out, and that be the next thing that goes horribly wrong. Not kidding when I'm talking about how hard it's been to get back on the train, not only from a doing the work standpoint and self-management, but also the addictiveness of those vices and food being the big one. My cravings for sugar and unhealthy food, things that I used to be able to just like, oh, I'm sweet, I don't need that. I could see it and not need to eat it. Now I see it and I'm just like, oh, I'll just have one. That's addiction. That's straight up addiction. And if you do not think the shit that you eat is addictive, you are fucking wrong. I can provide references. And just generally, like even just the desire to do Mental Health Monday, I'd say to myself, eh, you can put it off for another week. Today was the unofficial Official, official day of me starting work back at Mad Air. I had some phone calls to make, I had some stuff, and I just generally felt the call that, yes, today was the day of going back to, quote, normal. The time off was actually great, though the cost of getting back on the horse is definitely more energetically expensive than just staying on the horse. This is what today's Mental Health Monday is about. Inertia, an object at rest, wants to stay at rest. Much the same as an object in motion would rather keep moving, which is inertia, momentum. It's been a while since year 12 physics, but anyhow. Unfortunately, if you stop when it comes to your good behaviors, the bad ones creep in really easily. You don't have to think about it, it just kind of happens. And if you want to get back onto the good path, all right, and I'm not talking New Year's resolutions or goal setting here because frankly, I think New Year's is the worst time to set goal. But anyhow, once you have stopped and those greased wheels of you just automatically go to the gym or you just automatically make a good food choices, once those stop and that routine crumbles, you have to rebuild almost like you're at square one. It's it's very easy to blame yourself for falling off the horse if, you know, it's not the holidays that did it, you just fell off the horse, or for not being as effective as you once were. It's actually just another excuse that you're making for yourself when you can just start doing the things that you used to do, but you can't start gung-ho fully at 100% again. I've had to today negotiate with myself. I wrote a little to-do list of all the things that I felt that I needed to get done today in order for today to feel like it was a productive work day, and I just went, okay, if I get just one of these things done, I'll feel good. I've got three of those things done. I suppose what I'm getting at is I have negotiated with myself, despite I didn't want to do it. I still even watched an episode of my beloved Simpsons. I still haven't run out of Simpsons to watch, so I can't be watching that much of it. Made some phone calls, a few of those things that I just had to do, didn't want to do, because I'm just feeling not ready to go back. By the end of it now, I was planning on not doing Mental Health Monday, but I built enough momentum with those phone calls and those couple of emails to just be like, fuck it. I'm doing Mental Health Monday. And on the note of me getting work done that I needed to get done, those orders that were placed after I closed up for Christmas, they're already on the way. So you would have already got a confirmation email, but I'm telling you anyway, just in case you watch this before you check your emails, that's how important I am to you. I appreciate that. That's really good to hear. Anyway, I hope you had a good holiday. This year is going to bring up some ch ch, -ch changes Why did I do it that way? This new year is going to bring a few changes around here because frankly, I can't keep running the way that I have been. If you have suggestions for those changes, whether it's about content or it's about products that we make and whatnot, hit us up. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be back despite how uh, I felt about coming back and my camera's running out of battery, so I've got to go. Love you long time. Might see you next week. Peace.